and we are going straight to Tamil Sai Sondarajan, uh, who is contesting from South uh, South Chennai. Good to see you, ma'am. Uh, what's your assessment of your constituency? How does it look? I'm sure you would have taken feedback from each and every polling uh, stations. Yeah, from morning I have been traveling to all the poli uh, polling booths. Uh, there is uh, really uh, people were greeting us uh, with uh, affection and happiness. And definitely we will win this seat. And there is the, really a transformation of mindset from the Dravidian mindset to the national mindset. And people are receiving us with uh, uh, with pleasure and happiness because our Honorable Prime Minister's visit, we have gained strength and because of our Honorable Prime Minister's good schemes that has reached each and every house. So now people are realizing it. And now because of the corrupt practice of both Dravidian parties, people want a change. That change is visible in the in the faces of the people. So definitely we will be uh, winning the seats and uh, definitely there will be a change in the political scenario of Tamil Nadu. In, uh, during 1967, there was a great transformation of power from the National Party to the Dravidian parties. But now, there will be transformation of power from the Dravidian parties to the National Party, that is BJP. Okay, Tamilisai, you know, you had contested 2019 elections as well. Um, and you did face a loss that, uh, in those elections. That time, it was... a uh, slogan or, or a boycott Modi or boycott go back Modi a campaign which ran as well from 2019 to 2024 what has changed on ground yeah that opposition is not that that was motivated by the political parties people were with Modi ji but voluntarily uh, they, they were spreading the news as anti Modi ji slogans and black balloons like that but now people have realized it politically they are doing that and uh, our Honorable Prime Minister uh, is more affectionate to the people of Tamil Nadu. And even now, during the ma in the manifesto, they, are, the, they have told that they will be uh, supporting the growth of Tamil language and uh, Thiruvalluvar centers will be inaugurated in globally. So these all uh, things now the uh, Tamil Nadu people are responding. And pe our Honorable Prime Minister talks in Tamil and uh, uses the uh, quotes of Tirukural whenever it is possible. And he really lost the language. And the people are now recognizing, realizing his affection, love and affection towards the uh, regionalism Tamil Nadu. And uh, apart from that, uh, his um, development schemes, not non-corrupt uh, practice, and his repeated visits to Tamil Nadu hmm. has gained importance and it has changed the political scenario uh, in Tamil Nadu. So that opposition which was created uh, by the opposition parties, because now the people have realized it. So now the people are not opposing our Honorable Prime Minister and they are uh, uh, actually, they are welcoming him sure. whenever he comes. He, it, he draws a huge crowd and voluntarily people are attending his programs. Right. And this is the great difference of mindset which has, which has occurred in Tamil Nadu. Ma'am, uh, we were speaking to A. Raja uh, of the DMK just a few minutes back and he said that most BJP contestants in Tamil Nadu will end up losing their deposit for the simple reason that the linguistic issue, uh, the issue of Tamil pride is so strong that there is an insider-outsider issue which you cannot overcome. And that's a problem the BJP would continue to face. How would you respond? No, first of all, I ask Raja and uh, Stalin because Stalin was telling uh, on his advice only Congress, the Indi Alliance uh, Manifesto was uh, uh, created. But uh, what uh, one question I want to ask, our Honorable Prime Minister and BJP has given opportunity for the growth of Tamil language and they are going to open, uh, inaugurate the uh, Trivaldur centers globally. And why can't they advise the Congress for such activities, yes. such pro-Tamil activities. And during the Congress regime, the lakhs and lakhs and the Tamil brothers and sisters were killed in Sri Lanka. They, they, they are telling that they are the uh, custodians for Tamil growth. I am asking. And apart from that, nobody is talking in Tamil. When you, uh, when you visualize their activities in the parliament, hmm. how many of them are talking in Tamil? And how many is uh, how many of the children are uh, le learning Tamil language? Okay. So highly politi politicizing, and they're uh, they're uh, actually than them. Okay. Our honorable prime ministers 
love and affection towards Tamil is recognized by okay. the people of Tamil Nadu. You know, so they cannot the Tamil Nadu is almost false being propaganda seen, of linguistic. Ma'am, as as a litmus test for the BJP in these elections, my last question to you. Uh, although your political opponents say that uh, most of the BJP candidates will lose deposit and it's a bipolar contest, the BJP uh, is not really in the fray. Uh, it's not a triangular battle. What, according to you, is happening in Tamil Nadu? How many seats are you giving to your own party, BJP? No, no, we have emerged as a strong force, anti-Dravidian force. So they cannot say it is the, uh, the fight between both DMK and ADMK. DMK and ADMK may be fighting for the second place. Most of the places we will emerge uh, as a first place uh, a victorious uh, and we will come with flying colors. Right. And definitely people, people have accepted our uh, uh, BJP party. And now there is a different mind, the change of mindset among the people. Sure. And uh, it is the dream of Raja that we will lose the deposit. But definitely we will uh, win so many number of seats. All I right. cannot exactly tell the number, but number of seats we will win. All right. So you and are optimistic, ma'am, of a uh, rise in the number of your seats. Teach a lesson to the Dravidian parties. All right. Well, ma'am, strong words there. Good luck. Uh, it's going to be a tight election for you. The BJP looking to improve its position and do quite well in Tamil Nadu.